What was in the 80s? These dances, for example, now they don't wear this. Ke Indian National Trust for Art and Culture Heritage Mikhail Chapter ke Badai ke Kinhon ke Basai ngau senam sia ja kan dai sapa pusau halor ke nong rem ban pin priang bat pin ya pisa ya ki minor ke pateng baladam ke pelong ya ke jing pin ipat ba ya ki dor ki balashan ha ki senam baladam ha state convention center shilong Hakan ini kesini lawan sim bentalang do menteri rambak kejela ukan rak sang mak kumu kongsan nong shandor belarim tam hak kejela Ahmed Hussein uba Cyril Dingdo IS pat kwe kwe kihe sarkar. The state, especially the younger generation, most of whom do not know about a lot of this history, they need to get connected to it, and that is the reason why in this entire 50th year of the statehood, a number of different programs are being organized uh, to remind ourselves about uh, the different uh, phases that we went uh, to get our state and also more importantly the events that have shaped uh, the state of Meghalaya to bring it to where we are today. And I must thank uh, the entire team and uh, especially Mr. Hussein whose contribution uh, we can all see in the exhibition that is there today. As was mentioned, uh, the photographs are uh, you know, these moments that you capture uh, and um, it, it is such a, uh, I should say, a lot of people think it's very simple, but it's, it's not that simple. I, I'm not a photographer myself, but whenever I tried my hand at it, uh, it's not come out too well. And, uh, you know, I realize uh, that the kind of, uh, the moment, you know, you have to capture the right moment at the right time, you need to, as a photographer, need to know which that moment is somehow there's a sixth uh, sense in you to know that this is the moment to capture you know aspects of uh, details a lot of times people don't realize you know you just think that there's a phone and you just click like that but there are a lot of details that you need to capture on, on a phone for, on, on a on a on a camera and today nowadays with so much of uh, technology available in camera the kind of adjustments you need to make uh, you know uh, so you need to exactly know what kind of focus uh, to have uh, it's very complicated, you know, so I tried my hand at it and I just gave up. I came back to the iPhone. So that's how it was. But if you really go into professional photography today, uh, it's not that simple. It's really complicated. So therefore, I must appreciate uh, the work that has been put in, not just by Mr. Hussein, but by all the people who have collected the, uh, the photographs. I'm told that even uh, uh, our one of our officials, Kong uh, uh, Ramona, also has uh, given some of the photographs. I'm sure she didn't click it, but uh, it was there in her uh, in her uh, archives. But like that, there are many people who have contributed to this. And uh, what I would want uh, from the department and from um, all of you is that uh, I think we should continue this. And this should become uh, something that we should do on a more regular basis. Uh, the way we have started promoting and pushing um, music, for example, you know, Music is something that uh, we felt uh, our people were very passionate about and uh, therefore we have a, a program called this grassroots uh, movement for, for music where we're supporting musicians to, uh, to perform in different uh, locations uh, that is engaging the art, uh, artist as, at the same time giving a taste of our music and the skills to the tourist. Similarly, uh, we should have programs where we can support uh, these skills also where our youngsters who are interested in photography can also uh, be supported and we could have programs, we should have programs in the future. We had the literary festival, we keep having the music festival, we should also have a program and a festival uh, on photography uh, and I think this is a way to promote things apart from the fact that we're having this, uh, this exhibition today which is more uh, linked towards the heritage of the state. And I would uh, sincerely urge everyone if we could have more of the photographs uh, also to do with other aspects of culture, other aspects of sports, other aspects of music. Uh, we have none of that out here. People are quite bored seeing politicians' photographs. So you only have the for politicians out there, which is fine, which is great. It's part of the history. But it would be nice to see uh, sports and other aspects. Uh, you know, I've seen those beautiful pictures of the caves and everything, so those caving uh, photographs also should be there. I think that's also something that is uh, kind of an asset of the state. So I think anything where people can connect and learn more about the state, I strongly feel those aspects also should be added uh, 
to this exhibition and I hope I was being told that this exhibition will be taken around and uh, we'll be having uh, different locations where this will be put up. Uh, we should do that. And on a closing note, uh, I just would like to say that uh, uh, we have realized as a, as a government also, I keep stressing on this, and um, it's very important, but uh, we realize that the documentation that uh, the governments and the departments and the state as a whole uh, that we have not been doing in the last you know, 50 years is something that uh, is seriously a, a, a great uh, kind of a loss for us. There are so many important moments we were not able to capture. There are so many important discussions that took place that defined what the state is today. We were not able to, uh, we were not able to document those aspects. I urge each and every one of you that uh, every single aspect uh, of work we do, whether it's in the departments or different organizations, different bodies, uh, it's a great practice to always keep minutes of the meetings, the discussions that were held, some pictures that will remind. Somebody will look back many, after many, many years and say, wow, that was a great moment. And that's, this is the moment when it happened. And I think it's important that uh, we as a state, uh, that is the government departments and all, must focus a lot in, on documentation. And in today's world, with digitization being there, it's much more easier to, to document things. Today, uh, you know, many aspects of, um, uh, of different things that are happening are being digitally documented. I urge that uh, we should start this practice of uh, digital uh, documentation and ensuring that even the, uh, the, you know, the negatives that were there, those aspects also, how we could save some of the pictures in digital manner should be also examined. But as a whole, as I said, this is a great start and um, every um, mission starts with a step. So this is a great uh, you know, strike that we have taken. For the first time, I think this has been done in this kind of a scale. I would only say that uh, it's a great beginning. A lot of, uh, uh, of course, people will be very excited to see this, but I would really urge and full support from the government side will be given to ensure that whatever support and help you require to keep on improving, uh, the different um, you know, uh, archives that you have and photographs that you can collect. We would be there to completely support. I would want to see that this will keep growing and we would be able to make uh, this uh, more of a kind of a uh, you know, frequent uh, program where uh, people will be able to participate also. At the same time, people will be able to see the different kind of events and moments and the pictures uh, that were taken. I would also urge that uh, you could expand the, the different uh, aspects today you have talked about the heritage and spoken about and shown pictures about the political history in one way of the state you could then change the subject and go into some other aspects of other areas also professor over there just to do like that but instead i prefer to join photography as my profession so anyway at that time there was a you know, scope of a, take the good training for photography. In any way, I joined one service. And the service was lying like that because it is only for one year. And the condition is also very tough. Tough in the sense that you must have your own camera, own enlarger, own printer, everything. Government will supply only film, papers, and chemicals. And that, is, that was the, in NEFA and in census of person under the, minister, under the central minister. So anyway, I joined that one. So I didn't know that was some blessings these, these guys coming up. The first tour was of mine was with Dr. B. K. Raiman, great anthropologist. From there, I just got the training. Training means is the guidance that how to do this photography and other things, and the whole life might change at that time. So then I was there for a long time. Long time means not very really long time. That's only for one year, but Dr. Roy Berman, he wanted me to continue that thing. Then I just over there for three years, then I went to Calcutta at 
attended the AIM. I did all the advertising photography in Calcutta, right from this Hindustan Motors, Orient fan, different kind of advertising which was needed in Calcutta. I did that one. And Calcutta, of course, it, I could, couldn't continue the, uh, too long because the industrial in disturbance also started. Then I came back to Shillong and started my own studio under the name and style of Karu's photographers. So I started that one in 71. In 71, there was Bangladesh war also, liberation also. So I joined the Mukti Force and went to the war field and I took the photographs of the war. And there, then I started this thing, then came inauguration of Meghala. There I took the photographs of inauguration of Meghala. Then came the inauguration of Arunachal. There also I took photographs of Arunachal photographs. And actually, I was I am feeling very proud to be as present in the inauguration. I mean, in the liberation day of Bangladesh. That that day I was in Silet and I enjoyed the diversion from Bangladesh at that time. And then come that year, then I started, after when I started my studio, I just started taking photographs of the Meghala Garu Hills, Jayanti Hills, Khasi Hills, and there I just took the and, uh, other photographs also. Gradually I started my taking the photographs of whole northeastern states, right from Assam, then Meghalaya, Mizoram, Manipur, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Tipura, all the photographs I have taken in this thing. In the meantime, one of my friends, he just make one small documentary on me and it is just seen in the net. And seeing that net in America, one professor of California University, upon saying he wanted, she wanted to meet me, she came to Shillong and meet me, then she took my documentary and she wanted to archive all my negatives. So with collaboration of Goethe University, a team she has formed, and they have documented so far, excluding Meghalaya and Nagaland, 14,000 negatives they have recorded, documented in my, from my negatives. So in that way, I just, um,